And welcome back into Vancouver, Washington. And we had to start a new feed as our time ran out from our original feed. We've been on the air so long. So welcome back to the new feed, part two of day two, and our second women's semifinal. This one between the Sirens and the Avalanche. Earlier today, the Sirens were 10 nothing winners over the Avalanche. See if the Avalanche can rebound from that. Winner to play BC in the gold tomorrow morning. Loser will play the Blazers in the bronze medal match. Ready to go. It's a return throw by Bachelor, stopped by Llama. Pikins with the save. Shot by Llama, kicked out of bounds by Opikins. Ball over two. No, it's going to stay with the Avalanche on the far end of the court. Ball dropped into the left wing. Kelly Llama's shot from the left wing, blocked out by the center of Pikins. Ball will be dropped in on the right wing. Sophia Bachelor with it for the Avalanche. Her shot goes out of bounds. Piken shot from center goes wide left. Ball dropped into Eliana Mason. And a high ball called on Eliana Mason. So the Avalanche with a great opportunity to get on the board first here. Mason to defend, and it'll be Siorian Fatim to throw the penalty. Ball down the line, just a wide of the post. So we remain scoreless with 7.40 to go, first half. And Mason comes right back and buries it in the gap. 
for the first goal of the match. One nothing lead for the Sirens. Mason shot kicked out by Opikins. Equipment check timeout on the far end of the court. 6.33 to go, first half. Sirens in front, 1 0. shot gets through the feet of Opikins. Michaelia Lama scores and it's 2-0. And Mason buries one through the gap, center right wing gap. 3 0 Sirens. And Mason's first shot down the line, out of bounds from the first bounce. Ball over to the Avalanche, 4.57 to play, first half. Cross-court shot from Mason from the right wing off the feet of Bachelor out of bounds. Bachelor's throw rolls out of bounds down the right side. Ball dropped in to the left wing, Michaelia Lama. Pikins shot wide right, ball dropped in to Lama on the left wing for the Sirens.
And Mason finds the gap from the right wing. Cross court. Her third goal, it's 4-0. Shot by Bachelor out of bounds. Ball into the Sirens with under three minutes to go now, first half. And Lama finds the back of the net again. Her second goal, 5-0. Ball by Bachelor out of bounds. Ball into the Sirens, and Lama takes it from the left wing. Nice. Mason scores again off the center and in. Four goals for Mason, six nothing Sirens. Timeout Avalanche with 2.20 to go in the first half. Four goals by Ileana Mason, two by Michaela Lama. And the Sirens are taking the early track to tomorrow's gold medal game here. Four games left tonight. We'll have a men's consolation game up next between Grit City and Cobra Kai. That'll be followed by the two men's semifinals, Avalanche vs. BC, Rattlesnakes vs. King Cobras. And then we'll have a second consolation match to end the day at 7.15 local time, Cobra Kai vs. the Killer Cobras. Mason scores again off a of bachelor and in 7-0 five goals for Mason Bachelor down the court wide ball into the sirens Shot by Fatim, blocked out by Lama. Lama shot down the right sideline, out of bounds. 1.11 to go, first half. Siorian Fatim's shot blocked by Lama. Shot out of bounds by the Avalanche. Ball into the Sirens with 37 seconds to go in the half.
Mason, bounce ball, finds a gap in there. Her sixth goal, 8-0. 17 seconds to go in the half. Bachelor rolls it out, ball into the sirens. 10 seconds to play. Mason shot blocked out by a Pikins. Two seconds left, and that should do it. And the buzzer sounds, and the sirens out eight nothing in the first half here in this women's semifinal number two. We'll be back with second half action. Second half action, Sirens with the ball first. And right off the bat, Michaelia Lama scores her third goal. And it's nine to nothing, Sirens. <clears throat> One goal away from ending it.
Ooh, shot by Lama just wide of the right post. Ball will be into the avalanche with 8.47 to go. Second half, 9 nothing lead for the Sirens. Fatim shot down the left side, blocked out by Lama. And there's a bounce ball by Ileana Mason that finds its way through the Avalanche defense and ends the game with a 10-0 Sirens victory. Sirens move on to the gold medal match tomorrow. They will play BC. Avalanche will play for bronze against the Atlanta Blazers. Coming up next, we'll have a men's consolation match between Grit City and Cobra Kai.
Welcome in to our men's consolation game number one, Grit City against Cobra Kai as we hit the home stretch on this Saturday. Four games remaining. Cobra Kai closest to the camera in the black jerseys with yellow numerals. Start with number six, Alex Atlantic. Number three, Elwin Rivera and number one Daryl Walker. Jacob Kamanu will start at center for Grit City. Jacob Peterson on the right wing number one. And it looks like Tony Warham will start on the left wing for Grit City. There's a shot by Jacob Peterson, goes up and off of Alex Atlantic into the net. Grit City up 1-0 early. And Peterson again gets it past Atlantic. 2-0 Grit City in the first minute 10. Shot by Walker down the line, blocked out by Peterson. Shot down the sideline, travels wide, ball into Grit City, leading 2-0. And Tony Warham's shot from the left wing down the line, pushed out by Alex Atlantic. Ball dropped in for Cobra Kai, Daryl Walker to take it. Peterson shot stopped by Rivera, but the ball travels back over half court and we'll go back to Grit City. Jacob Kamanu tries to go cross court from the right wing, but wide of the post. Thank you. 
Walker's shot blocked out of bounds by Kamanu, but ball back over to Cobra Kai. Walker's bid for the gap was kicked out of bounds by Jacob Peterson. Ball into Grit City. Peterson's bid for a third goal goes off the post and out of bounds. Atlantic shot from the right wing, cross court, out of bounds. Tony Warham shot down the line out of bounds. Walker tries to go down the line, but it goes wide of the post by about a foot. Arm saved by Atlantic on a shot by Peterson. Knocks it out of bounds. Bounce by ball. Bounce by. Bounce ball by Kamanu. Travels out of bounds from the center position. Great arm save there by Kamano on a blistering shot from Walker. And Jacob Kamano gets one under Atlantic. Makes it 3-0. Substitution coming up for Cobra Kai as Alex Atlantic will check out and uh, Jaden Yamada will come in. Five twenty-six to go here in the first half. Three nothing Grit City on top of Cobra Kai in this first men's consolation match. Cobra Kai will be back for a second consolation match at 7.15 local time against Killer Cobras. Only three teams in Pool B. Daryl Walker powers one through Tony Warham down the right sideline and Cobra Kai is on the board 3-1. But Peterson gets one inside the post. His third goal of the half past Jacob Jaden Yamada. Four to one. Walker again buries one. This one in the gap, and it's four to two.
And Grit City will make a substitution. Tony Warham comes out and Lucas Barfield in. 4.51 on the clock, first half. Walker scores again underneath the body of the center, Jacob Kamanu. And we got a one, one goal game, four to three. Yamada's bid right down the line, called out. I check time I shade check timeout and 403 on the clock as the ball's dropped into Daryl Walker looking for the equalizer here for Cobra Kai. Peterson shot down the line, out of bounds. Ball into Cobra Kai. And Jacob Kamanu nets his second goal. Big bounce ball that gets by Yamada. Grit City up 5-3. 3.07 to go first half. Shot, Jaden Yamada put a nice spin on that one, curled it around the defense, and it's 5 4. But answering right back is Lucas Barfield for Grit City, and it's 6 4. Shot by Walker down the line, kicked up and out of bounds by Lucas Barfield. Walker's putting some heat on these shots right now. Uh-oh, high ball call on Grit City. Here's a chance for 
Cobra Kai to get one back. Barfield is called for the penalty. Daryl Walker to take the throw. No chance on that one. Walker just powers it by. 6-5. Under two minutes to play, first half. Yamada saves that one, gets it back down the court. Grit City will call timeout with a minute 13 to play here in the first half. A one goal game, Grit City six, Cobra Kai five. In this men's consolation number one, as we head down the home stretch of day two, Tournament wraps up tomorrow morning with the medal matches starting at 8.30 local time. That's 11.30 Eastern. Peterson finds that spot inside the post again for his fourth goal. Seven to five with 54 seconds to play in the half. Jacob Kamanu's shot from the center. He looked like he slipped, went out of bounds. 39 seconds to go in the half. sounds to end half number one a great first half seven to five is your score grit city out in front of cobra kai four goals from jacob peterson two by jacob kamanu one from lucas barfield that's your seven for grit city cobra kai got four from daryl walker and the other from Jaden yamada we'll take a quick break and be back with the second half action
ready for second half action. Grit City to start with the ball and a two goal lead, seven to five. Ten second call on Cobra Kai. They made the block. It trickled out towards center. Yamada scooted out to get it through back to Walker, but couldn't get the shot off in time. It's a 10 second call, and they're gonna have Elwin Rivera defend this penalty throw for Grit City. Looks like Jacob Peterson to take the throw for Grit City. And Peterson buries it for his fifth goal. And that'll give a three goal cushion to Grit City now, eight to five here in the first minute of second half action. Peterson shot out of bounds, ball to Cobra Kai. Ball called on Jacob Kamano of Grit City. So chance for Cobra Kai to cut the lead to two. And you know it'll be Daryl Walker taking this one. Oh, Kamano had it guessed right, but Walker scooted it underneath him and makes it eight to six. Lucas Barfield finds a hole in the defense of Cobra Kai. And back to a three goal lead, nine to six. Jaden Yamada answers for Cobra Kai. Nine, seven. Shot from Peterson, blocked out by Walker. <laughs> Yamada scores again. Off the feet of Kamanu up and over. One goal game, nine to eight. Timeout, Grit City with 8.07 to play. High scoring opening two minutes here of the second half.
Oh, Walker blisters one from the right wing, just pushed wide of the post. Oh, Jacob Peterson finds the goal again, but through the gap, left wing center. Peterson has six goals for Grit City. They're up 10 to eight. Shot by Walker, blocked by Peterson, ball back over to Cobra Kai. Ooh, looking for that left post from the right wing was Walker, but Peterson got a piece of it, pushed it wide. Not a shot off the feet of Barfield, trickles just wide of the post. Oh, Walker rings one off the post and out. Walker's shot goes wide of the right post, 5.37 to play, second half, 10-8, Grit City ahead of Cobra Kai in this men's consolation number one. Yamada's cross-court shot blocked out by Barfield. Grit City with the ball. Peterson scores again for Grit City, his seventh goal. 11 to eight with 4.36 to go.
Under four minutes to go here. Second half, 11-8 lead for Grit City. Threw that one from the seat of his pants and it almost found the corner of the net. Just pushed out by Peterson at the last second. Peterson again, his eighth goal. 12 to eight, Grit City in command now with two and a half minutes to go. Blocked out on that shot from Walker. Grit City with the ball and a four goal lead. out there substitution timeout by Grit City Lucas Barfield checking out Tony Warham checking in with a minute 58 on the clock coming up after this game we'll have our first men's semifinal that'll be between the Avalanche and the team from BC. Jacob Kamanu scores off the timeout. And that'll do it. 13 to 8. Grit City wins this consolation match over Cobra Kai on the 13 goal cap. And we'll be back with the first men's semifinal between Avalanche and British Columbia right after this.
And we're ready for the first men's semifinal here in Vancouver, Washington, between the NWABA Avalanche, closest to the camera, and the team from British Columbia on the far end of the court. Avalanche will start with number four, John Hinman, number seven, Timothy Breitenfeldt, number nine, Dalton Williams. BC has number four, John T, number two, Russell Jung, and number three, Clement Cho. Shot by Hinman goes through the legs of T off the crossbar but stays out. Shot by John T. Just blocked out of bounds by Dalton Williams on the right side. Ball into Avalanche. And there's your first goal. It's from John Hinman of the Avalanche as he shoots it through the gap. And they take the one nothing lead here in the first minute and a half. But answering right back for BC is Clement Cho. And it's 1-1, birth in the gold medal game on the line here. Ooh, Dalton Williams aiming for the post down the right side, blocked out by Cho. Shot by Hinman goes wide of the right post. Ball out of bounds. 7.22 to go first half. We're tied at one. Ball blocked by Breitenfeld, but over back to BC.
Nice block out by Clement Chow on that shot from Williams. There's a goal from John Hinman. Gets up and over the center, trickles into the net, and the Avalanche go up two to one. Hinman aiming for the far right post, blocked out by Chow. Timeout for an equipment check. 5.53 to go, first half, 2 to 1 Avalanche on top of BC in the semifinal. Clement Chow moved to center, threw back towards the right post. Wide. Dalton Williams throw is wide. Ball into BC. Breitenfeld shot from center, blocked out by Chow. Ball out of bounds by Chow down the line. Avalanche with the ball and the lead, two to one. Hinman again, his third goal. 3-1 Avalanche. Right and felt throws it out of bounds. Shot by John T. Out of bounds. 4.45 to go first half. <laughs> Clement Chow shot out of bounds. <coughs> Ball into Avalanche. Breitenfeld's shot from the center. To, um, wide of the left post. Ball into BC. There's a goal by John T. Off the post and in for BC. Makes it 3-2. to two. Blocked by Williams, back over half court. Yep. 
Alton Williams shot slips out of his hand. Ball back over to BC. John T. shot kicked out by Brighton Felt. Ball into the Avalanche. Dalton Williams with it on the right wing. Timeout called by BC with 3.06 to go first half. And Avalanche in front by one, three to two. There's a shot by John T that gets through the Avalanche defense and we're knotted at three. With 2.25 to go in the first half and the Avalanche will call timeout as they've seen their 3-1 lead disappear. We are now tied and this is a great semifinal game. back over to BC after Brighton felt blocked that one over the half court line. Shot by Chow, blocked out by Dalton Williams. Avalanche will make a substitution. Dalton Williams checks out of the Avalanche lineup and Nathaniel Baker will come in. 2.02 to play. of Clement Chu up into the air and in and the Avalanche answer back to take the 4-3 lead. The John T answers right back for BC. We're tied at four.
Dante's shot out of bounds. Baker's previous shot went off the crossbar, but we remain tied with a minute and a half to go. Baker's shot down the left sideline. That goes wide of the post. Ball into BC. John T shot down the right side, out of bounds, ball into the avalanche. Oh, Nathaniel Baker just missed the post with that one. Shot by John T goes wide. 55 seconds to go in the half. Eleven seconds to go, ten seconds now, ball into BC. And the buzzer sounds in an outstanding and entertaining first half here in this men's semifinal. We're tied at four as we head into the final 10 minutes. We'll take a quick break and be back with the action.
And we're ready. The Avalanche starting with the ball in this tie semifinal. Second half action beginning. Inman blocks it out. On the shot by Chow. Chow shot blocked out by Hinman. One minute gone in the second half. We remain tied at four. Ball thrown out by BC. Goal by John Hinman, bounce ball, deflects off the center and in, and the Avalanche are up 5-4. Yeah. Baker's spin shot down the line, out of bounds, ball into BC. Breitenfeld's shot blocked out of bounds by BC. Seven twenty-one to go. Official timeout for an equipment check. Just tie in the shoe here, and the Avalanche up five to four. Inman down the line, blocked out by Chow.
Daniel Baker tries to go down the line. That one goes out of bounds. Ball into BC. 6.22 to play. Avalanche up by one. Blocked out by Hinman. Shot by Hinman, out of bounds. And that was a goal, a game time goal for John T. Deflected off Breitenfeldt. Into the net, and we're tied at five with 5.35 to play. Baker's shot blocked out by T. Baker blocks T shot out of bounds. <laughs> oh, a big costly penalty here. Long ball on John Hinman with 5.06 to go. And BC with a chance to take the lead. And Hinman blocks it. Came out to cut down the angle on John T. Made the save. We remain tied with 5.06 to play. made the save and went high in the air. He and T collided, trying to keep it out of the net. It went in, Hinman with the goal. Avalanche back in front. But John T answers right back for BC. Six to six. Trading goals, trading blows. 4.53 to go. Breitenfeldt looking for the corner, blocked out by Chow. Chow moves to the right wing, shoots it down, blocked out by Baker. Hinman tries to go down the line, out of bounds, 4.12 to play. Second penalty on the Avalanche. So it's 
So it's going to be Baker to defend this penalty shot with 3.50 on the clock. And John T scores his sixth goal. And BC in front, 7-6. That shot from John T. to go back and forth what a semi-final game this is oh that one trickled towards the post but Baker saved it Baker shot wide three minutes to go Avalanche will call timeout with 2.51 on the clock and 7-7 tie in an amazing semifinal here as we start to wind down day number two of the Northwest Regional. Winner of this game will play for the gold tomorrow morning. Loser will play for the bronze. We'll have our second men's semifinal coming up after this. That one will be between the Texas Rattlesnakes and the Seattle King Cobras. Shot by Clement Chu, heading for the post. Nathaniel Baker sticks his hands out, deflects it over. Out of bounds. Baker shot down the line. 137 to go. BC with the ball, tie game. Hinman shot down the line, out of bounds. 119 on the clock. We are still tied at seven. Ball into BC. Don't want to commit a penalty at this point in the game. 
Clement Chow trail travels down to the right wing. Big bounce ball down, blocked by Breitenfeld, trickling towards the line, but Baker gathers it in. Nathaniel Baker rolls it straight down the middle, blocked by Russell Leung. Gives it to John T. John T. Under a minute now, big bounce ball down and blocked by Breitenfeld. <coughs> Gives it over on the right wing to John Hinman. Hinman cross court. It gets through the legs of John T for the goal. John Hinman with his, he has all eight goals for the Avalanche and that comes with 44 seconds to play. John T got caught standing up and it went through his legs. And BC will call a timeout after that one. John Hinman with all eight Avalanche goals and this game is going down to the wire. Can BC respond? They're gonna probably put it in the hands of John T who has six of their seven goals. He's their biggest scoring threat right now. But here we go, 44 seconds to go, 8-7 lead for the Avalanche. British Columbia with the ball. Fasten your seat belts, here we go. John T, straight down, popped. Up, up and over by Nathaniel Baker, up and over the net. Big save by Baker. John Hinman on the right wing, rolls it down out of bounds with 29 seconds. BC will take another time out here to discuss some strategy. T has the ball in the middle. Here we go. Off the whistle. Bounce ball down the middle. Breitenfeld right there to make the stop. 24 seconds to go. Breitenfeld takes his time. Backs up. Throws it down the middle. Blocked by Leung. Leung hands it off to John T. 14 seconds remain. John T. Spin. Big bounce ball down. Breitenfeld. Oh, long ball is called. A long ball on John T. And the clock kept running after that long ball, so they're gonna put some time back on the clock. Putting some time back on the clock. I think they're going to put 11 seconds. Once again, if you didn't hear that, the clock has been set to 11 seconds. Avalanche has declined the penalty, and they have called the timeout. So they will have, uh, they could run almost the entire clock out. They're going to hold the ball, roll it slowly down the court, most likely, and BC will have to make the save, find the ball, and call timeout in order to get one shot off but this will be tough for BC at this point 
Avalanche in control here. 8-7 lead, 11 seconds to go. Hinman has the ball on the right wing. Oh, but Hinman rolls it out of bounds with five seconds to go. Oh, the strategy was good. The execution was not. The throw went out of bounds about half court, so only six seconds came off the clock. There are still five on it. BC will have a sh chance to tie it. Come down to this one shot by BC to tie it and send it to overtime. As BC will make a substitution timeout to stop the clock. But it'll be John T with the ball in his hand and here we go. Off the whistle, big bounce ball by T. It's blocked by Breitenfeld. It's trickling and gathered in by him and that'll do it. The Avalanche are going to the gold medal game with an 8-7 victory over BC. What a fantastic semi. Tallying up the scores. John Hinman, the player of the game for the Avalanche, scoring all eight of their goals. John T with six of BC's goals. Clement Chu with the other, and what a game. 8-7 final Avalanche. We'll be back with our second men's semifinals between the Texas Rattlesnakes and the Seattle King Cobras.
Ready for the men's semifinal number two between the Texas Rattlesnakes and the Seattle King Cobras. The winner advances to the gold medal to play the Avalanche. Loser will play BC in the bronze. Starting on the far end of the court for Texas in the white jerseys. Number one, Gray Pizyaka. Three, Will Lopez. Nine is Roger Acuna. For the King Cobras, we got number three, Antonio Rozier. Number five, Richard Asu. And number eight, Junior Asu. Ball blocked out of bounds by the King Cobras. One minute gone, no score. Shot out of bounds by Junior Asu. Two minutes gone in the first half, no score. Gray Pajaka looking for the post, deflected out of bounds by Junior Asu. by Acuna, ball to the Rattlesnakes. the first goal of the game. Gray Pajaka shoots one from the right wing through the gap and the Rattlesnakes are up 1-0. Lopez is shot wide right, ball into the Cobras. Okay. 
Rozier's shot slips out of his hand, out of bounds at midcourt. Ball to the Rattlesnakes. Shot by Pajaka down the line, out of bounds. Ball to the Cobras, looking for the tying goal here. Junior Asu throws it out, ball over to the Rattlesnakes. Out of bounds by Pajaka, 5.59 to play. First half, 1-0 Texas Rattlesnakes over the Seattle King Cobras. And there's a goal from Junior Asu for the King Cobras. Gets it through, and we're tied at one. Timeout, Texas Rattlesnakes. 5.36 to play, first half. Pajaka's shot deflected just wide by Richard Asu. Defend against Pajaka with a tie game. And it's blocked. Rozier, Pajaka throws it right at him. And Rozier comes up big. This game remains tied. Thrown out after the block by Richard Asu. Back over to the Rattlesnakes. 4.39 to go. First half. We're tied at one. Quick shot by Piaka. Misses the post. Ball dropped into the King Cobras.
Cobras again have trouble finding the handle, so they just dump it out of bounds. 4-11 to go, first half. Rozier looking for the corner. Piaka got over and knocked that out. Goal by Will Lopez that went off the hands of Junior Asu and the Rattlesnakes back in front, two to one. Shot blocked out by Junior Asu. Score remains 2 1, 2.24 to play, first half. Shot by Junior goes out of bounds. Shot slips again. Ball into Texas Rattlesnakes. Leading two to one. Blocked out by Junior Asu on that shot by Gray Pajaka. Minute 35 to go, first half. up off of Acuna out of bounds on the throw by Richard Asu. Score remains two to one with a minute six to play in the half. Junior Asu sends that out. We're under a minute to go here in the half. Jaka's shot. Uh, wide of the post. Ball dropped in for the King Cobras. Right. 
under 30 to go, first half. Shot by Will Lopez, pushed out by Antonio Rozier. We got 23 seconds to play. Ten seconds to go. King Cobra should have time for one more shot here. Or not, they didn't get it off in time. Ten second penalty on Richard Asu as the horn sounds. This will be a big penalty throw here. Richard Asu to defend against Gray Pajaka. And Pajaka scores. What a big penalty that was right as the end of the half. And that will give Texas a 3-1 lead going into halftime. We'll be back with the second half. All right, second half ready to begin. 3-1 to one lead for the Texas Rattlesnakes. 
gold medal berth on the line in this one. Texas will start with the ball. And that shot is out by Lopez. by Acuna goes out of bounds. The <laughs> Lopez shot blocked out by Antonio Rozier. Ashu shot goes well wide. Yaka shot down the line, blocked out by Junior Asu down there. Will Lopez down the line, blocked out by Rozier. There's a goal, great Pajaka. Bounces one in off of Rozier, his third goal, and the Rattlesnakes are up 4-1 to one with 8.18 to play. Junior Asu got disoriented there, threw the ball straight out of bounds. ball called on Roger Acuna so a big chance here for the King Cobras to cut the lead in half and Junior Asu misses the post just by a foot and the Rattlesnakes dodge a bullet there, and the score remains 4-1. to one. Gray Payaka with his fourth goal, and it's a five to one Texas lead. Ashu just dumps it out of bounds after making the block.
seven minutes to go here. Texas in front, five to one in control so far. Looking to make the gold medal game tomorrow against the Avalanche. Richard Ashu's shot goes wide to the right. Rozier tries to go down the left sideline. That goes wide. Ball into Texas. Six and a half to go. Blocked out by Rozier on that shot by Acuna down the line. Lopez looking for the post, pushed out by Rozier. Timeout is called by the Seattle King Cobras with 6.04 to play. 5-1 lead by the Rattlesnake. Gray Piyaka with four goals, with Lopez with one. Junior Asu with the only goal for the King Cobras. One more game after this to wrap up our Saturday. It'll be a consolation match between Cobra Kai and the Killer Cobras. And then tomorrow we're back with the four medal matches, starting with the bronze medal games, and then on to the gold medal games. First game, 8.30 Pacific time. Join us if you can for Championship Sunday here from the Washington State School for the Blind. Richard Asu over the half court line over to the Rattlesnakes blocked up and over the net by Antonio Rozier on that hard shot by Gray Pisiaka Pushes it out again on that shot by Acuna. Shot by Lopez, blocked out by Rozier. Rozier's shot goes wide, ball dropped in to the Rattlesnakes. And Gray Pajaka. Through, shoots one through the gap for goal number five for him and that'll give the Rattlesnakes a 6-1 lead with 4.33 remaining and Texas in control
Timeout call by the King Cobras as Junior Asu made that save, but the team had trouble finding the ball, and when they did, they finally called timeout. 4-10 on the clock. 6-1 lead for the Texas Rattlesnakes as they're in control of this one. Looking to make tomorrow's gold medal game. Rattlesnakes making a substitution. Gray Pajaka will come out and Richie Flores checks in. Cobras will make a substitution. Junior Asu will check out and Sean Ransom coming in. minutes to go as Will Lopez shoots it down, blocked by Richard Asu. And time out for some water on the floor. Short shot by Lopez, blocked up and off the body of Sean Ransom, out of bounds. Ransom's return shot travels wide. Ball into Texas Rattlesnakes. Cobras again having trouble finding the ball just toss it out of bounds it'll go back over to Texas for another throw 322 on the clock Antonio Rozier goes off the post and out of bounds. 2.47 to play. Hey. 
And a goal by Richie Flores from the right wing. And that makes it seven to one. Nice shot by Sean Ransom down the line, but a great save by Roger Acuna diving across to block it out. Lopez's shot blocked out by Rozier. Again, Lopez tries for the corner. Rozier there to block it out. Rozier out of bounds. A minute and a half to play. Texas in control. Up by six here as they look to move on to tomorrow's gold medal game. Shot by Acuna, just ticks off the post, out of bounds, ball into King Cobras. Acuna down the line again, blocked out by Ransom, 58 seconds to go. Shot by Acuna, out of bounds. And Antonio Rozier gets one through the Texas defense to make it seven to two. 38 seconds on the clock. Flores. Heaves it across the court, out of bounds, ball into the King Cobras. Texas with it, 20 seconds to play. Ransom gets it, time for one more shot here. Out of bounds, 8.9 seconds. Kuna's shot blocked out by Ransom, 2.6 on the clock. And there's the horn and Texas is on to the gold medal game with a seven to two victory. As Gray Pajaka's five goals led the way for the victors, and Texas will play the Avalanche in tomorrow's gold medal, while the King Cobras will face the team from British Columbia for the bronze. We'll be back with the final match of the day, a men's consolation match between Cobra Kai and the Killer Cobras.
All right, we're ready for the final game of this 17 game Saturday. Yes, my voice held up, I was pacing it. Uh, so I would have it for tomorrow's medal matches and looking pretty good right now. This is a consolation game between Cobra Kai and the Killer Cobras. One, two, three, yeah! <clears throat> Cobra Kai closest to the camera. Killer Cobras on the far end of the court. Killer Cobras will start with number three, Alvin Suarez, number seven, Nathan Purcell, and number nine, Dylan Pleasance. Cobra Kai has Jaden Yamada, number four, Elwin Rivera, number three, and Daryl Walker, number one. Kai starts with the ball. And that shot from Walker goes high into the air off the legs of Suarez over the net. Shot from Nathan Purcell gets through Jaden Yamada and the Killer Cobras take the lead one nothing. Thirty two seconds into the into the match. And Dylan Pleasant scores to make it 2-0 on a shot down the line inside the post. Shot from Walker, cross court from the right wing, out of bounds, 8.18 to go first half, 2-0. Killer Cobra is on top of Cobra Kai. And Nathan Purcell makes it 3-0 as he finds a clean shot through the gap. Court shot from Pleasance, blocked out by Walker. <laughs> 
Pleasance again finds the corner of the net. Oh, that was Nathan Purcell, my bad. 4 nothing, and Cobra Kai with the timeout. They've fallen behind early. As they discuss strategy. Thanks for joining us here today. If you spent any time with us on this long Saturday, 12 hours, 17 games. We had a lot of fun here, some great contests, and looking forward to finishing up with our four medal matches tomorrow, beginning at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Off the whistle, Walker's shot blocked by Purcell. Shot from Pleasance. Walker tries to go cross court. Out of bounds. Saved by Rivera on the shot from Pleasance. Rivera backs up to the net. Throws it down the middle, blocked by Purcell. Passes it over to Pleasance. by Rivera and gonna trickle over and out of bounds over to Killer Cobras. Cross court shot travels out, ball into Cobra Kai. There's a goal by Daryl Walker to get Cobra Kai on the board. It's four to one. Shot by Pleasance, kicked out of bounds by Elwin Rivera. Shot by Pleasance pops up and over the body of Elwin Rivera. Shot by Elvin Suarez pops up and over Rivera six to one.
Shot blocked out by Rivera. 4.23 to go, first half. Cross-court shot blocked out by Yamada. Ball dropped into Cobra Kai, trailing 6-1. to one. Darryl Walker shoots one through the gap, 6-2. to two. Shot from Suarez, cross court, blocked out by Yamada. Goal by Daryl Hawker as he shoots one through the gap. timeout as Walker after he threw that one tripped over Rivera and is taking his time making sure he's okay Two forty three to go, first half, we're ready to play. And Daryl Walker buries one inside the post. Six to four. Cobra Kai coming back. Pleasant shot blocked out by Walker. Walker will take it from the right wing. He's gonna clear out from the left side again. Oh, that one was heading for the gap, but Pleasant and Purcell combined to deflect it out of bounds. Yeah. 
And Nathan Purcell powers one through Jaden Yamada and makes it seven to four in favor of the Killer Cobras. Mata lost the handle on that throw, out of bounds. Minute, minute two to go in the first half. Alvin Suarez blocks out that shot by Walker. <laughs> Yamada blocks out this shot by Suarez. Over to Cobra Kai, down by three with 42 seconds to go, first half. Oh, great deflection out of bounds by Dylan Pleasance on that BB by Daryl Walker was heading for the corner. seconds of the first half. Walker gets off the shot and blocked out by Pleasance, knocks his eye shades off. sounds in the first half and the Killer Cobra is ahead of Cobra Kai 7 to 4 as we'll take a break and be back with the second half action of our final game of the day
And we're ready for the final 10 minutes of the day. Killer Cobras with a 7-4 lead on Cobra Kai. Adam Young replaces Alvin Suarez for the Killer Cobras. Alex Atlantic in for Elwin Rivera for Cobra Kai. And the first shot by Nathan Purcell pops up and over Atlantic and it's eight to four. Shot by Adam Young goes through the legs of Atlantic. Nine to four. Atlantic shot goes down the line, out of bounds. Shot by Young, out of bounds. Shot by Walker wide of the post. Ball over to the Killer Cobras as they have a five goal lead here in the first minute of the second half. Walker wide. Nine minutes to go. Dylan Pleasance down the line, goes wide. Ball into Cobra Kai and Jaden Yamada. Young shot, diving stop by Walker. Blistering shot by Walker, another one goes wide. He's trying to pick that corner on the left post, but hasn't been able to get it on net. And Pleasance goes wide the other way. So several shots not hitting the net here for both teams. Ball in, Alex Atlantic for Cobra Kai. Rolls it down, blocked by Purcell. Ball dropped in for Daryl Walker. Ooh, hard shot blocked out of bounds by Dylan Pleasance. And that shot by Dylan Pleasance bounces over Daryl Walker. And it's 10 to 4. Pleasant shot travels wide, 7.42 to go in the second half.
shot by Adam Young, blocked out by Cobra Kai. Ball in to the right wing, Alex Atlantic with it. And Adam Young finds a hole through the gap for Killer Cobras, makes it 11 to four. Atlantic answers for Cobra Kai with a shot down the line, 11 to 5. Shot by Purcell, blocked out by Yamada. Walker blocks that shot from Pleasance down the center of the court. Pleasance dives over to stop Walker's offering. Walker blocks it, but it goes over half court and ball will go over to Killer Cobras. Shot from Purcell goes out of bounds. Ball into Cobra Kai. He's trying for that left post. Young finds that gap again for the Killer Cobras. And it's 12 to 5. With 5.11 to go. <laughs> 12 to 5, Co Killer Cobras. One goal away from ending this on the 13 goal cap rule. Cross-court shot from Atlantic and pushed out by Dylan Pleasance. Substitution timeout, Elwin Rivera in.
And Dylan Pleasance will end it with that shot through the legs of Rivera. 13-5 is your final of this final consolation game of the day. And tune in tomorrow for the medal matches. We thank you for joining us during this great Saturday of Action Pack Go Ball. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 8.30. The lineup will look like this. 8.30, women's bronze medal, Blazers versus Avalanche. The men's bronze medal at 9.15 Pacific will be between BC and the King Cobras. The women's gold medal between BC and the Sirens. And then the men's gold between the Avalanche and the Texas Rattlesnakes. So we'll be signing off now and... See you tomorrow morning. Have a great night.